our players and our coaches are really excited and very humbled uh, to be selected by Under Armour uh, to be one of, one of their sponsor teams. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. The swoosh is out, and the two U's that look like an H are in. The University of Hawaii today announced a new multi-year marriage making Under Armour the outfitter of Warrior Football. We're joining forces with Under Armour in a multi-million dollar apparel, footwear, and marketing partnership. We are Under Armour. The future is ours! That will support our Warrior Football team and provide UH Athletics with considerable financial assistance. It's an eight-year, $4.1 million deal, including 2.4 mil of product for student-athletes, coaches, and staff. It's almost 1.7 million in cash and a minimum 540 grand in marketing. Uh, we're really looking forward to working with Under Armour to outfit our student-athletes and also as a marketing partner going here forward. This is, a, this is really a, this is a great day. Under Armour is the now generation of, of sports equipment and apparel. And we just really feel good about, uh, you know, about being involved with them. Now, with their previous sponsor, Nike, U8 was a small fish in a big pond. Now they're only one of five schools sponsored by Under Armour, joining Maryland, South Carolina, Auburn, and Texas Tech. New deal, new TV commercials in the works, new look. Are they going to change the look of your game uniforms? They're going to be a little different, but we're going to keep, you know, we're going to keep the same de design, uh, similar design, put a little green in it. We're, we're still going to have the, the, the numbers are going to be the same as they have been to keep our Hawaiian image. We may have a surprise for a big game in the future sometime. Length of the contract, total value, uniforms, gear, shoes, exposure. This is a landmark deal. For UA. Greg McMacken and his UH football team will begin next season in style, starting with new uniforms. Coming this year, the Warriors will wear Under Armour. It's the gear that guys like Pro Bowler Ray Lewis have made a household brand. And on top of that, it's a multi-million dollar deal that will mean big bucks for the UH athletics program. You know, we feel it's going to help us win games. Coach Greg McMacken is sold on Under Armour, the new performance apparel that will be signature to his team next season. What was most convincing to him was the technical support the Warriors' new uniforms will bring to their game. All of their material is something that helps you, uh, your body temperature, their shoes are top of the line. I talked to Mike Leach at Texas Tech. It's the lightest shoe in the business. Uh, they coordinate everything everything with the pros. Under Armour has reached the NFL, but only a select few when it comes to colleges. Hawaii joins Auburn, Maryland, South Carolina, and Texas Tech as the only schools in the country to be sponsored by the company. I think we mirror their brand. Uh, they're an up-and-comer uh, on the national scene. They feel that we are. They feel we want to be aggressive with their marketing as they do, and they thought it was a great fit. And we're a real unique brand for them. The eight-year deal is worth more than $4.1 million. Besides the products UH receives, the athletics program will bank $1.7 million for its general fund. Another bonus, the national exposure that comes with a very popular brand for this generation of athletes. Rolo wants to be the quarterback in the, you know, the protect the house commercial and click clack and all that type of thing. So uh, we have all kinds of former players. You can't use your own players. And we have all kinds of former players coming out of the work, woodwork to get on the commercials. Under Armour is one of three companies UH had to choose from. Its last contract was with Nike. There's nothing more comforting than having a little insurance, plus it's good business when you're dealing with the highest paid employee in the state, so it's no surprise that there's a hefty penalty for Coach Greg McMacken's deal if he leaves. The cost for Coach McMacken to go before his five-year contract expires is $550,000, which is half of his annual salary. While termination clauses are pretty standard for coaching jobs, McMacken is confident it won't come to that. He plans on making Hawaii his final stop before retirement. Here is some of what McMacken's stand 
points to gain by his team's success. McMacken could make 50,000 if UH makes a bowl championship series or 20,000 if the Warriors go to a non-BCS bowl. A WAC title earns him 20 grand and 10,000 for WAC Coach of the Year. Plus, if season ticket sales reach nearly 33,000, that's 15 more thousand in the bank for Coach Mac. No name change necessary. The Sheraton Hawaii Bowl, it is. The Sheraton Hotels and Resorts has agreed today to a two-year extension to remain the title sponsor for the Hawaii Bowl through 2009. Next year's game will feature a WAC school and a Pac-10 team. UH automatically qualifies for the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl with seven wins. Hawaii's last win of the bowl was in 2006 against Arizona State. The University of Hawaii football team has come a long way. They were undefeated last year, and today they signed a new apparel foot wear and marketing deal with Under Armour. K5 Sports Director Jason Tang joins us with a live local late breaking details. Well, Steph, the new partnership is an eight-year deal that provides more than $4 million in cash and trade to the Warrior football team. Over the eight-year agreement, Under Armour will provide the team with $2.424 million of product. They'll pay UH $1.68 million in cash, $1.14 million in rights fees, and a minimum of $540,000 in marketing support as UH corporate sponsor. And the team, well, they couldn't be any happier. With all of our players love un Under Armour because it's the now generation it's the it's the top of the line it's it helps you play better because of body warmth and cold and and they have the lightest shoe in the in the game any changes to any uniform there'll be some prize, surprises for the people but I, I think they're gonna uh, love the design of the uniform now, Coach Mack also says Under Armour will film former Warriors for a series of commercials which will air in the future UH's current deal with Nike expires in May. One of the reasons for the Warriors' success is former head coach June Jones. He left Hawaii as the school's winningest coach. And as Stephen Florino tells us, Jones is taking some aloha spirit with him. But he also wants to bring some Texas charm back to the islands. June Jones may be in Big D, but he's bringing some Hawaii with him. Are you enjoying getting to wear an Aloha shirt again? <laughs> well, I wear it up there, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we, we instituted a, a Aloha Friday. Jones, back in the islands just for the weekend, helping old friends. We're best friends, and he's best friends with Hawaii. McMacken and Jones have known and worked with each other for more than 20 years, from Oregon to the USFL to the 1999 and 2007 Warriors, two of the program's biggest years under Jones. He's a good football coach, good person. And a good man, and uh, I'm excited for him to be uh, leading this program. He's just a special guy, and, and, and like I said, he's been a good friend of mine forever. So he supports me on anything I do, and I support him on anything he does. That includes trying to set up games between the new teams for these two new head coaches. Who'd win? Well, we're going to kick their ass, you know that. Uh, UH. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but, but uh, it, it's hard to come over here and win. I do know that. I don't think you can shut down the run and shoot, but, you know, I just believe in our guys. And, you know, I mean, he, I'm sure he feels the same way. Stephen Florino, K5 News. Oh, what a great rivalry that would be. Now, Jones says the Mustangs have openings in their schedule in the 2009, 12, and 13 seasons. But ultimately, scheduling is not up to the coaches. It's up to the athletics director. Jason Tang, K5 News. Oh, those were some fighting words. <laughs> well, the